stand up straight, look the world right in the eye. Our posture. Most people think it's pretty boring. Nobody's ever come to me as an exercise professional and said, Rowie, I'd really like to improve my posture. But is it possible that our posture is, number one, the outward showing of a healthy, fit, strong body and mind? Uh, it seems that if we don't feel good about ourselves and if our body's not healthy on the inside, we tend to start doing this. We now live in a world where bending over our having a poke neck, rounded shoulders, abdominals that aren't holding us in the upright position. Uh, that seems to be a normal position now, and isn't that a bit sad? Uh, if you are holding yourself in the upright position, is it possible that the muscles responsible for that, your abdominals and your lower back muscles, uh, could that be the best abdominal and lower back uh, muscle exercises? Because that's what the human body is designed to do, stand upright, and they're the muscles that allow us to do that. And I think that's really exciting. So if you want the best abdominal exercise, stand up straight. If you want to look like a positive, happy, confident, successful person, no one would ever suggest that you round your shoulders, poke your neck, let your abdominals go loose and just kind of walk around like an old person. And that's the real challenge, isn't it? That as we get older, because our muscles waste away and our bones then become weak, osteoporosis, which unfortunately... Uh, it, well, it used to be an old person's disease. It's now become a very young person's disease. And we've now got some teenagers with osteoporosis, bone thinning disease, because they haven't got or we haven't got strong muscles pulling on our bones to keep our bones strong. I can say very passionately that that's not me because I've been exercising all of my life and I've got strong muscles which hold me in the upright position. And not only strong muscles... But if you keep your muscles strong and you do high intensity, fast activity, you lift heavy, uh, you maintain your fast twitch muscle fibers. They're the muscle fibers that keep us fast and young and strong for long. Uh, it seems that as we get older, or well, most people as they get older, they slow down. They just, uh, oh, I'm too old to sprint, I'm too old to box, I'm too old to play my sport anymore, I'm too old to do high intense activity. And of course, those fast twitch muscle fibers waste away. So the ability to stay upright uh, not only gets uh, worse as we get older because our muscles are wasting away, but if we need to stop ourselves from falling, if we need, or if we do trip over, those fast twitch muscle fibers aren't activate, activating because we've let them waste away. The human body is an amazing mechanism. If you don't use it, you will lose it. I like to say this, if I use it, I will not lose it. So if you want great posture, and the reason for great posture, of course, is that you look younger because it's the old people that start to get stooped over. So if you never stoop over, it's, you are less likely to look old. How cool is that? Uh, if you remain in the upright position and you do have shoulders pulled back and you do have a head that's facing forward, uh, there's, there's something very positive about looking the world in the eye. And of course, if you've got rounded, or, um, rounded shoulders, poked neck, you're not looking anybody in the eye. And it seems that that's very common now where we've got teenagers who are constantly on their phone, their neck is getting into this very look down position and now the muscles are getting trained to be in that position and we're all starting to look, I refuse to, we're all starting to look old at a very young age. So we've got to keep strong muscles to pull on our bones to keep our bones strong to keep us in the upright position. If you want to have a positive look on your face and if you want to have a body that's ready to go and is ready for action, you've of course got to be fit and you've got to be strong. And the really good, oh, well I think it's very exciting, the really good thing about being fit, when you get fit by getting puffed in the upright position, that's why I think it's so important to really focus on the, the anatomy and physiology of the human body. It's not designed to sit down. Uh, when I hear parents or teachers say sit up straight, I always think to myself, how about we stand up straight? Sitting is not a straight position. You can't sit up straight. It's like an oxymoron. You're sitting on the most powerful muscles in your body, the ones that are supposed to be holding you in the upright position, the ones that keep you fit and strong for the rest of your life. When you sit down, they're being supported. And of course, for most people, when you're sitting on your backside, that's when your lower back muscles and your abdominal muscles go into that 
well, your abdominal muscles don't do anything. So you actually look chubbier or fatter or bigger because your abdominals aren't working properly. When you pull your shoulders back, when your abdominals are actually holding you in the upright position in conjunction with your lower back muscles, uh, you, you everything works better. When you sit down, you've got your body's in a in a curve automatically. You're putting your body in a curve. Circulation's not as effective. Uh, nobody that understands how the human brain works will argue that oh, you should sit down, it's better for your brain. No, your brain works better in the upright position because you've got better circulation. And if you're in the upright position, of course, you don't want to be in the rounded shoulders, uh, poke neck position. What about when you walk into a room? If you've got poor posture, if you're not looking people in the eye, what's the first impression that you give? Is it possible that uh, people will think you've either got something to hide or that you've got nothing to add. And it's a, it's a tough confrontational question. But if you look confident and you, and you act confident, uh, and there's this great expression, be before you are and you will become, is it possible that if you get your posture upright, you get your eye contact practiced, that you will look confident, which people will then treat you like you're a confident person, which means you are more likely to have, it, have the success in the areas that you need it. So is posture important to your success? Could the answer be yes? Is it important to your health? Could the answer be yes? Here's an interesting one that I often share with teenage girls uh, because I see so many of them now in this rounded shoulder. And if you're shy and introverted and, and you're scared of the world and you've got low self-confidence and low self-esteem, this, this rounded shoulder business where we're looking down this way uh, I often ask girls, uh, do you want to be or uh, are you happy with the way your chest looks? And having been a woman all of my life and worked with millions of women, it feels like, uh, we're never happy, are we? We always want to look different. And so many women have shared with me, I'd like bigger boobies or smaller boobies or more whatever boobies. And it's interesting though, if you've got a flat chest, if you round your shoulders and everything's pulled in, obviously your chest is going to look smaller and gravity is going to be pulling down. So even if you've got a little, little chest, it's not going to look good and before long it's going to be looking uh, or heading in the wrong direction. If you've got a bit, if, or if you've got big boobies, uh, if you don't look after your posture, if you don't have strong upper back muscles and you start doing this, then of course those bigger boobies will start heading towards the ground much, much faster. We want to maintain strong muscles and good posture so that our chest looks great. And regardless of what kind of chest you have, could it be a really good idea to hold it in the upright position? And it's funny to watch teenage girls because when I talk about that, uh, the ones that are sitting like this, they can't, it's like they almost can't help themselves. They have to sit up straight uh, because it makes such a difference. And of course, when you've got rounded shoulders, those abdominals don't look real good either. So what about getting excited about having good posture from a self-confidence and appearance point of view? Uh, from a circulation and health point of view and what if you focus on it so that it becomes a conscious part of your uh, physical activity so you wake up every day thinking to yourself I'm going to stand up straight and look the world in the eye uh, and could it be or would it make other people feel more comfortable if you go to a, a job interview I like to call it, call it a career interview if you've got customers or clients coming to see you is it possible that our posture uh, is part of our first impression and we only get one chance to give a first impression. And if our first impression is my head's facing down, my shoulders are rolled, uh, my abdominals aren't working properly and I just don't look confident and comfortable, is that the first impression that I want to give to the world? So how do I make sure that I've got strong muscles to hold me in the upright position, that my muscles aren't wasting away and that my bones aren't wasting away? I've obviously got to keep them strong and the only way to do that is to overload them and not by uh, breaking up the body into tiny little pieces which is what a lot of people do when it comes to strength training. Let's work the chest and let's work the back and let's work the arms and let's work the calves and let's work the abdominals and let's work that when we break it all up. How about we pick the really big exercises that work together, the whole body works together to hold us in the upright position. So there's a great place to start. 
How about we exercise in the upright position so that we actually have to focus on our posture. Then if I lift something heavy in the upright position, one of the groups of muscles that have to work the hardest, of course, people always ask me, Rory, what's the best abdominal exercises? And my answer is always the same. If you have to pick up something off the floor that's heavy, what are the muscles that are making sure that when you lift, that you don't hurt your back and you don't fall over? And of course, that's your abdominal muscles and your lower back muscles working together to hold you in the upright position. So if you want great posture, Let's look at the things or, or the, the normal parts of life that we have to hold ourselves in the upright position and let's exercise in that position, which of course are exercises like squats and lunges and what, what people call deadlifts. And I wonder, I've always wondered why they're called deadlifts and I presume it's because it's, that's how you would pick up a dead person, which I think is a very odd name for an exercise. So I like to call them alive lifts. Let's do some alive lifts. We have to lift something up off the floor uh, and it's heavy, you have to work every single muscle in your body at the same time, all in conjunction with each other. And the smaller muscles have to work the hardest because uh, imagine you've got a, a, a chain made of anything, but let's say it's a chain made of metal and I've got really big links and I've got tiny little links and I start pulling on that chain. Is it possible that the little links have to work much harder than the big ones because they're weaker? And are they the ones that are more likely to break first as well? So when you work everything together and everything has a chance then to recover, because the most important thing about strength training, you're not getting stronger when you're lifting heavy things. Your body's got to regenerate from lifting, recover from the workout, and then super compensate. And it's those little links in the chain that need the most recovery. The little muscles in your shoulders and your shoulders, the little muscles in your arms, the little muscles in your legs, the stabilizing muscles, they all need to recover before you can lift heavy again. And they're all those postural mus muscles that are most important. So how about we do big exercises that work all the muscles in our body at the same time, using the body as a high performance machine. How about we keep going till we can't do any more so that we're actually overloading our muscles rather than sticking to some number and number of sets and number of reps and all the complicated things that come with strength training. How about we just lift something heavy off the ground, keep going till we can't do any more, and if we can do more than, and I like to say more than 10 seconds, because if you go for longer than 10 seconds, you're out of that high intensity, 100% effort energy system. If you get into the lactate system, which is the 10 seconds to two minutes, that's when you get that burning sensation in your muscles. People confuse that as exploding fat cells. It's simply lactic acid pushing up against your nerve endings and causing that burning sensation. And for some people, it causes them to feel sick. And I don't want that for anybody. And once you go longer than, once you get into your aerobic system where you're doing 20 rep repetitions of an exercise or more, apart from the fact that you're getting bored, the weight's obviously too light. So lift as heavy as you can in the shortest period of time in the safest way possible. Use all the muscles in your body at the same time with exercises that require you to be in the upright position, which means your postural muscles have to work in the way that your posture is designed. We're never, the only thing we're meant to do in the lying down position is sleeping, obviously, and a other, couple of other fun things that you do in the lying down position. Uh, sitting is a ridiculous position because your body's bent. You, as I shared, you, you, the biggest muscles in your body aren't being used. You're sitting on them. And your abdominal muscles and your lower back muscles don't work. We talk about sit up straight, and we say that to our children, and I just wish we wouldn't. How about we get upright? How about we get fit? How about we get strong? And is it possible, and I always think this is really interesting, you can talk about positive attitude and that might lead you into being motivated to exercise. Uh, is it possible it's the other way around? If you move, momentum causes more momentum. Activity creates the desire to be more active. Results uh, make it more exciting to keep going. So if you work really hard, and when I say that, it's 10 seconds of intense activity. Get puffed for 10 seconds. Lift something heavy for 10 seconds. Your brain now fills up with a neurochemistry that makes you feel good. Automatically, after you've puffed and after you've lifted heavy, your posture will change. And this is one of the really interesting things, and this is a very cool story. Uh, having managed health clubs for most of my life and been a personal exercise coach, 
Most people when they come to the gym have very poor posture. When they start with an exercise professional, they have very poor posture. They're, they're shy and introverted and they've got rounded shoulders and, and they're looking down and it's very difficult to look somebody in the eye. One of my favourite stories is a lady who came into the health club and she was, she looked like a broken woman and that, that were her words. She said, Rowie, I'm broken. I said, share with me what's going on. She said, uh, my husband's just left me for a younger woman and are we getting a divorce? I feel like my life's come to an end. And she was, her posture was very, very poor. When I asked her what her number one goal was, she shared with me that her number one goal was to kill her husband. <laughs> Uh, obviously, we weren't going to be doing that. But I did ask, could you share with me uh, a picture of something that would relate to, to what your goals are? And she said, oh, and it's a movie that if you're a very young person, you might not have seen this. But she said to me, I want to look like Linda Hamilton in Terminator 2, the movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And at the start of the movie, uh, Linda Hamilton does a series of chin-ups and she looks spectacular and she obviously looks very, very strong. And when you think about chin-ups, they're in the upright position, your body's straight and you're using all of your postural muscles and the human body looks beautiful when chin-ups are performed effectively. And she said to me that she would like to, to be able to do chin-ups like Linda Hamilton in Terminator 2. Well, I want to share with you that, first of all, on the very first day that we exercised together, I walked her up to the chin-up bar and I helped her do just the one chin-up. But she walked away feeling better and her posture was automatically better just because she'd done one chin-up and she felt better about herself because she'd made some changes in her life. There came the day where she walked up to the chin-up bar and she did 10 full chin-ups all by herself. Where she pulled her body above the bar, her chin came up above the bar, her back muscles were rippling, her arms were rippling, her abdominals were rippling and her posture was dead upright and she was looking everybody in the eye. She'd gotten fit, she'd gotten strong, her posture had changed, her self-confidence had improved, her self-esteem was on fire. She had a new young boyfriend. She quit her lousy, stinking, rotten job and had a new job. She bought a whole new wardrobe of clothes and she was off on a trip around the world with her new young boyfriend. Uh, we got fit and strong and it's amazing what happens. So if you want great posture, rather than even focus on your posture, just get fit and strong and watch what happens to every other area of your life. Is it possible that if you are fit and if you are strong and if you are that, that you then become mentally tough because you've got those neurotransmitters in your brain that make you feel good about yourself. When you get puffed, you put into your into your own brain, you produce the chemicals that make you feel good. Dopamine is a reward drug, serotonin is a satisfaction drug, endorphins are a painkiller and a happy drug. Brain-derived neurotropic factor is fertilizer for your brain so that everything in your brain works better, including you drop off the rotten old brain cells and grow new ones. It's called neurogenesis. You get neuroplasticity, which makes you think differently about life. The serotonin is a really interesting one because it's a satisfaction drug that makes you feel good about your life at the moment. Isn't my life fantastic? And there are all the reasons why we feel so good after we exercise. And is it possible that if you start your exercise program with your posture like this, but you exercise, get puffed, lift heavy, perform at your best, uh, do the things that, that you think you can't do. And that's the important thing about repetitions when you do exercise. If you think you can't do another one, give it another crack. Aim to do one more, half or one more. And that's where neuroplasticity happens because you thought you couldn't do it and now you can. So you finish your exercise session and watch what's happened to your posture. It's interesting to watch people walk into the, to, to a health club, into the gym, into a personal training session, into a personal exercise coaching session, and their posture's poor because they've had a bad day and they've been sitting in the car and sitting at their desk and they're feeling miserable. And they walk out of their exercise session with their shoulders pulled back with a big smile on their face and a brain full of chemistry that says, oh, I'm a happy person and I love my life. Wouldn't that be awesome as an exercise professional to be able to do that for people and for you as a human being to be able to change from a I don't feel good about myself to a I'm a le legend in my own lifetime. Stand up straight and look the world right in the eye. Wouldn't that be a great thing to do every day? And if you exercise every day, you could do it every single day. Woohoo!